Introduction Public distribution system has come into existence soon after the Bengal famine in 1943. PDS with a network of large number of fair price shops, FPS is perhaps the largest distribution network of its type in the world. PDS means distribution of essential commodities to a large number of people through a network of FPS on a recurring basis. The commodities are as follows. Wheat, kerosene, rice, sugar. In order to make TPDS more focused and targeted towards this category of population, the Antodaya Anna Yojana AAY was launched in December 2000 for one crore poorest of the poor families. Objectives of PDS To provide essential goods to the consumers at reasonable and subsidized prices. To maintain minimum nutritional status of the population. Consumer Production Act Right to be safety Right to clean environment Right to consumer education Right to seek redressal Right to be heard Right to choose Right to be informed Learning Objectives At the end of this chapter, you will be able to Define Public Distribution System and Consumer Protection Cite the objectives of People Distribution System and Consumer Protection Explain the progress of PDS Describe Consumer Protection Meaning and Definition It is a food security launched by the Government of India. Through this system, food items like wheat, rice, etc. as well as non-food items like clothes, kerosene, etc. are distributed at subsidized rates among needy people in India. The central government is responsible for storage, transportation and allocation of food grains, whereas state governments hold responsibility for distributing the food grains to consumers through fair price shops. Objectives of Public Distribution System There are two objectives of Public Distribution System. To provide essential goods to the consumers at reasonable and subsidized prices. To maintain minimum nutritional status of the population. Progress of Public Distribution System Public Distribution System has come into existence soon after the Bengal famine in 1943. Through this system, a network of fair price shops is established to distribute food grains in the country. In India, the number of fair price shops increased from 4.58 lakhs in 1999 to 4.99 lakhs in 2011. The offtake from PDS declined due to the differences between the open market prices of wheat and rice and prices determined by PDS. Targeted Public Distribution System A ration card is essential to obtain food grains through PDS. It has information regarding the number of family members and accordingly food grains are supplied through particular fair shop. White ration card is given to those whose annual income is more than 1 lakh and are excluded from benefit of PDS. An orange ration card is provided to those whose annual income is between 25,000 to 1 lakh. Families below poverty line have yellow ration card. Under Antodaya scheme, very poor people are provided with food grains at lowest prices. Under Niradhar Yojana, senior citizens below poverty line are provided with 10 kg rice per month free of cost. PDS is beneficial in India because it helps to supply subsidized food grains to poor people. It provides employment to fair price shop owners their employees and other related workers. It reduces poverty and economic inequality. Drawbacks of PDS Limited benefits to poor Under PDS, 
Food grains are provided for ration card holders only. They are issued on the basis of residential address. Hence, homeless people are not able to get its benefits. Regional disparities Some regions are well developed while some are less. In some states, large number of families are below poverty line. Urban bias Nearly 75% fair shops are in rural area. But the offtake of food grains through PDS is more in urban areas. Inefficient Food Corporation of India Excess stock of food grains are not stored properly. Therefore, it creates scarcity of food grains even after an increase in production. Remedial Measures Food Bank It is essential to establish food banks and to modernize go-downs in every state. Extension of coverage of PDS The coverage of PDS has to be extended so that no needy person will be deprived from the benefits of PDS. Restructuring of PDS Rationing officers must visit fair price shops frequently to know their problems and to eliminate bogus ration cards by raids of flying squads. Consumer Protection A consumer is defined as a person who acquires goods and services for direct use of ownership. The consumers expect satisfaction for consumption of goods and services. But they are not satisfied due to the following reasons. Sale of adulterated goods. Sales of defective goods. Using fake weights and measures. Holding and black marketing. Charging more than the MRP. Rights and duties of a consumer. Consumer protection is a legal provision to ensure the right of consumers. In India, Consumer Protection Act, CPA, was passed in 1986 and it came into force from 1st July 1987. Main Objectives of Consumer Protection Act Right to Safety The consumer should be protected against goods and services which are hazardous to health. Right to be informed The consumer must be provided with accurate information about quality, purity, price, quantity and standard of the goods and services. Right to choice Consumers have the right to make a choice from a variety of goods and services. Right to be heard Consumers have right to be heard by manufacturers and dealers about their opinions and production. Right to seek redressal Consumers have the right to seek redressal of their grievances related to price and quality of goods and services. Right to consumer education The consumers must know about their relevant laws to prevent unfair trade practices. Right to clean environment Everyone has the right to enjoy pollution-free environment. Duties of a consumer be quality conscious and aware of rights to restrict business mall practices. Beware of misleading advertisements. Insist the seller to give a bill, receipt and warranty card. Compare the quality, price, durability, after sale service etc. of the product. Carefully inspect variety of goods and make the best choice. Food adulteration a process through which a substance is added to food items to increase their quality is food adulteration. This is done to increase profit margin. Some adulterants are visible as stones, leaves, etc. Whereas some are invisible like adulterated milk with water, artificial colors, etc. They are very harmful as they cannot be removed easily. They may lead to serious health problems like cancer, paralysis or even death. It also affects the health of society. Therefore, it is moral responsibility to restrict food adulteration for healthy and strong India. Summary You have learned that PDS is a food security launched by the Government of India. 
public distribution system has come into existence soon after the Bengal famine in 1943. A ration card is essential to obtain food grains through PDS. The consumers expect satisfaction from consumption of goods and services. Consumer protection is a legal provision to ensure the rights of consumers.